Hello, in this video, I'm going to tell you about the difference between cranial nerves and spinal nerves. So first off, what is a nerve? It's a bundle of axons in the peripheral nervous system. If it was a bundle of axons in the central nervous system, it would be called a tract. Uh, so nerves can emerge from the brain or spinal cord, and that is the difference between a spinal nerve and a cranial nerve. Uh, so cranial nerves emerge from the brain, most of them from the brain stem, um, and spinal nerves emerge from the spinal cord. And then both go out into the periphery and branch off and form plexuses and, and do all sorts of things. <laughs> uh, cranial nerves, there are 12 pairs. So when we say pairs, we mean that there's a left and a right. And spinal nerves, there are 31 pairs, so a left and a right. Of our 12 pairs of cranial nerves, some are sensory, some are motor, and some are mixed. That means that some of our cranial nerves only carry sensory information from the periphery to the central nervous system. Some of our cranial nerves only carry motor information from the central nervous system and carry it out to the periphery. And then some are mixed, meaning that they do both. In comparison, spinal nerves are all mixed. So all spinal nerves carry um, sensory and motor function. And with the motor function, they all carry uh, sympathetic and parasympathetic activity. All right, well, that's all I have for you in this video. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.